everybody. Just uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little spin around with the Chaos Hounds. I'm kind of pleased with the way they came out. I wanted them to be kind of dark looking and I like the way they kind of pop a bit with the, the different sort of shades of gray and then the kind of the tongue and the eyes and the teeth kind of standing out a bit. And so yeah, I'm kind of happy to have those done. And um, now I guess I could do two units of five. Somebody m mentioned that in the comments earlier. I'm not even sure. I haven't looked at the list as whether you can group them up as 10, but um, seemed to make more sense probably as a maneuverable unit to be able to flank with five at a time. Um, I have actually gotten most of the base paint, no, none of the highlighting really, on the giant. And so I haven't done the base yet, but uh, he um, is not, his skin is, this is sort of the undertone of his skin and the way it's going to look. Um, it's not actually um, going to look like this when it's done, but I'm pleased actually with this as an undertone um, for it. And um, this is how I'm essentially chosen to to go with my color scheme. His pants, um, I will probably put a patch in there, like because they're basically different pieces of cloth sewn together. I will. I know a lot of times people will go just put like every one is a different color. I'm probably gonna throw some black in there, um, maybe an off white or something. I'm not sure. I have to think about it. I might just leave it at that and just highlight it really nice and just have it as just sewn together, but red. Um, I wanted it to um, look red, you know, for chaos a bit because he's a chaos giant. That's kind of the color. I wanted it to be like a bit of a darker red. And, um, yeah, I'm going for, I've seen some folks do almost do this like a turtle or a dragon, green dragon kind of top. I, it really contrasts that way with color. I wanted it to be a bit darker, and so I'm going with a darker one with some highlights of gray. I still have to work on the shading on everything. Um, but this is actually a really cool model, like once you get working on it, um, um, he is really, has this gaping mouth, like, of teeth, like, you know, these screaming, but, uh, which is interesting, but, um, I really like all the doodads on him. He's got, like, a human head and a helmet and another skull, or a skull and a helmet, um, bells, and pretty cool stuff on him. Um, so, yeah, I'm pleased with the way he's coming out so far, but I have lots of plans for the skin. Um, in particular, and some other things on him. I haven't painted up the little guy yet, uh, either of them. I have a little guy hanging by rope who's like hostage. I have a guy in a bag with a foot coming out and a guy that's cowering behind him. Um, I'm probably going to try to paint this in some colorful, like, Empire-like colors, you know, from the Empire faction, just for this guy there. But that is mainly it. Um, yeah, I've got a plan for a number of videos coming out. Um, and so stay tuned. Talk to you later.